Mark, the House has voted on and passed a measure to end the FAA furloughs of air traffic controllers. The move will bring a lot of relief now to airline passengers whose flights have been delayed all week long. The Senate approved the legislation last night. This bill now will transfer $253 million from other programs to pay for air traffic controllers during furlough days. And we have Crown Force Mike Pelton standing by at SFO. He's been keeping an eye out on the ripple effects that we may be seeing here in the Bay Area as a result of these uh, furlough days. Mike. Well, James, airport officials tell me they've been fortunate that they've not been directly impacted by the furloughs and they've been able to maintain adequate staffing levels. But I checked in with the airport duty manager earlier this morning. She tells me that impacted airports across the country today because of reduced staffing are those at Hartford, Boston, Newark, LaGuardia, Philadelphia, and Tampa. Now, that could have an impact here in the Bay Area because she says if those planes leave their location late, they could then arrive late here into the Bay Area. That backup then could have some of the departing flights leaving late as well. Now right now there are no scheduled delays but officials say if we see delays here in the Bay Area it would be later on this afternoon and into this evening. Now while many passengers tell me they are happy Congress has made a deal to end all of this they say it never should have reached at this point. Oh furlough Congress. Yeah we're going to furlough yeah, Congress. We're just gonna... that, that, that's yeah, our that's answer. Our furlough answer. Congress. See how they like it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Airport officials tell me that flights in and out of SFO that have been impacted this week due to reduced staffing across the country have averaged delays between 15 and 45 minutes. So, James, as always, officials say check your flight status before coming here to the airport. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you much. It is amazing how quickly Congress found a solution to this problem, and it's a good thing, too. A lot of them are headed to the airport today and tomorrow to begin a week-long recess, and it would have been a shame if their flights were delayed.